All right, here is my cell starter. We're going to try this again. This is the hive right, uh, right there. That's the hive there that that uh, we took the graphs out of, the, the cell punches out of, and that's where the uh, queen cells were developed. We'll open them up and uh, put them in the queenless mating nooks here in just a moment. July 4th, making up some more mating nooks. And here I've got three. I've got the orientation just a little bit different. I've got two openings toward the southwest on this side and then one opening on the opposite side here. I have made uh, queenless nukes and they consist of two frames of uh, cap worker brood and a frame of honey and a frame of pollen. As you recall last time I had seven mating nukes all lined up close uh, in close quarters with one another all facing the same direction had pretty poor results from that it looks like I may have about 10 uh, nice looking capped queen cells and so I've got 10 I've got 10 uh, mating nooks here of course with 10 mating nooks you've got to come up with 20 frames of capped worker brood, which does require quite a bit of, of uh, hive and colony resources. Today is July 5th. We're going to transfer the queen cells into the queenless nukes that I made up yesterday. And there's a storm rolling in, so I've got to proceed quickly before everything falls starts falling from this from the sky there's where the queen cells are we'll go right, get them. we're gonna take this off Still quite a bit of bees in there which is good This box here that I'm taking off is still a honey super. The queen bar is in the next box below. And, and this is still kind of heavy. Now keep in mind these queen cells, I don't want to shake them at all. I just need to uh, hopefully smoke the bees off of them or lightly brush them off and then we'll take them and put them in the, um, in the individual nukes all right here you can see we've got one two three four five six seven it looks like from the JZBZs. The JZBZs are cups. The JZBZ cups are those which I attempted my first try at a at grafting. And then the bottom bar has three queen cells on it. Those were uh, cell punches. Gently down. See if we can smoke them off this way. Almost. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the knife here and cut right at the top of the cell and then place this cell in the uh, in the queenless nuke. They've been queenless since yesterday. So I'm going to gently turn it over. One queen cell. We're going to put it in this nuke right here. I have two frames of I 
have two frames of, uh, of cap worker brood in here along with a frame of honey and a frame of some pollen. So now I'm just going to position that in there and squeeze it in place just enough to hold it but not enough to affect or cause any damage to the queen cell. All right. All right. Okay. And the uh, cap worker brood is right here. We'll put it right in there. cells installed into 12 different queenless nukes. Uh, today's July 5th, so in about three to four weeks, sometime the 1st of August, we will look in these and see how many of them are actually mated and uh, successfully laid, laid eggs. So we'll look for eggs and larvae in about three or four weeks. Thanks for watching. Hope this was a little more educational for you. One thing that I learned in making queen cells is that your cell starter hive has to be totally packed with bees. Uh, in fact, if you think there's too many bees in there, you probably ought to shake one more frame of, of nurse bees in there, not, uh, not your forager bees, because they'll just uh, eat the honey that you've got in there with your, your uh, nurse bees. All right, thanks for watching. We'll check back in about a month. Thank <laughs> you.